Just a quick peek at what I'm doing. If I want to make a true factory, I'm going to have to know, have a good idea of what I'm doing. And I have two entire storage containers full of material to do it. So don't you worry. I will make this... I In this game, I will make the finest factory you ever did lay your eyes upon. Now all that's left is to make... The connection. Hold on. Real quick, what would I need for... Yeah, I can afford to make this. Oh! I can press E to... Okay, so that's what Quick Switch does. Okay. All right, cool. I want to see if Mark II will, will work with this. Let's see if it works. I'll be damned, it works. It actually works. Nothing's going wrong. Oh, right, right, right. Um, so that's going to be, so that's going to be rods and then screws. This will be iron plate. And then, I'm going to place a storage thing here. And then, watch the magic happen. Reinforced iron plate. Now it's definitely going to take some time for to for, uh, for it to make a lot of these, but I'd say this is definitely going to work out. Hey, you come to check out the site? Pretty nice, isn't it? Okay, so I know things have been kind of out of order, but for right now, my first important priority is making a lot of reinforced plating. To me, that's what really matters right now. That's what truly matters. And once I have a lot of that, I can make other things. Apparently, you can only make, like, what, roughly... How much did it say? Like, five a minute? Is that what it said? Five per minute. So it definitely will take some time. But... I want to see if I can improve my little thing here. I am eventually going to move all this, but I just want to, like, make what I need to first, you know? So I just found out that I can actually reset a fuse box from any one of these poles if the, if the power grid shuts down. So I don't even have to go all the way back to the coal generator. I mean, I guess that makes sense, considering the coal generator makes the power. It, it is not the power, if that makes sense. I have just found out that I can do something incredibly cool. Watch this. You see that, you see that conveyor line down there?
I don't even have to completely replace everything. It is going to be pretty costly, but definitely worth it. I'm so glad I'm able to do this. That is... That is so goddamn handy. Okay. Well, after a couple of hours of remaking and rebuilding, I now officially have a nice, smooth, rotor-generating assembly line going on here. But real quick, I am going to put up the... What, the, uh... The bam. So let's see where I can put this baby. Uh, I think... Hmm. I need something like this with my base and single player, but that's a story for another time. Yeah. It needs to be, needs to be in a good spot. You know what? Screw it. I'll just put it right around here. Needs to be precise. Okay, that you can always move it later if you need to. Yeah, I know. Also, that's a lot of pale berries you have. Yep. <laughs> I uh, tend to run into those beasts a lot, so I need a lot of power to keep the HP filled up. Yeah. Eh, screw it, I'll... <clears throat> no. I like having things nice and precise. <laughs> what? I think you put it back. I think you put it backwards facing like the outside. We will not speak of this again. <laughs> <laughs> I totally know what I'm doing. No, I don't. Oh, I see. It's not gonna... Well, you know what? I'll put it right here. I do have some things for the ma'am. I just need to pull them out. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's right. They're, uh, up there. <laughs> Never mind. I'm silly. I have them on me. All right. I have some things for you to investigate, ma'am. Power slugs. The species of semi-slug seem to emit a weak potential enemy from its energy from its crystalline shell, which R&D thinks might be extracted to improve the efficiency of work on your on project assembly. <clears throat> what do you mean I can't? Af Wait. Oh, did I? Oh, I'm... Hang on, let me look in the fucking thing. Fight, baby. Alright, I'll put some of these in here. Take out what is most important. Now I can afford things. Oh, that's how this works. Research one of the highlighted keynotes to unlock. I have six of them. Start research. Yay! <coughs> New recipe unlocked. Yay! I'm a genius! New research available in the MAM. Hmm. <coughs> Nutrients. Caterium. I, th I thought I had that somewhere. Caterium! 
I'm so glad I held on to you. You're not useless to me after all. Uh, put this in here. Take out this rock quartz. Can be processed into quartz crystals and silica. Okay, so you're not something for the ma'am. Unless you are. But, you know what, I'll hold on to that for now. <clears throat> ah, god. Oh, wait, I have a lot of these. Boom. I'm doing it, Zippy. I'm making progress. Yeah. Yeah. The fuck is that? Uh, I need alien organs, something, and something cubes. What is that? What is? It looks like a rock. Oh, give me a second. Oh wait, hang on. It says the cost is alien intestines, some kind of rock or meteor, and uh, man of uh. Or fucking st structural cubes, or whatever those are. Modular cubes, uh, alien organs. I believe that is... Mycelia! Yeah, I didn't research that one. Huh. Actually, I, th I got the medical inhaler through the nutrients tree, I believe. Hmm. Ah, so I ah! <clears throat> you have another one of those. Better have one of those carapaces. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a carapace. Oh. New resource added to the resource scanner. Ooh, Caterium ingots. Didn't know that was a thing. Don't know what they're for, but cool. Nutrients. New object added to the object scanner. Forty-eight out of five. <laughs> oh, you do have a use. Good old rock horts. Come with me if you want to live. Quartz. Of quartz, I have quartz. A crystal oscillator? That's new. Pistad. Hey Zippy, would you like to see? Uh, would you like to have a glimpse of my production line? Sure. So, all of this is fueled from three different so uh, from three different nodes of iron. Oh hey, Pelberry, I'll take that. Yoink. So, there. This is one source of iron. This is the other one, and this one here is the third one. There is so much iron here that it is damn near impossible to just not have enough. This iron is processed into two different things. The first is, um, well, it was iron plating. The second is it gets turned into iron rods. The iron rods uh, are split up to here and they're carried out through the conveyor belt all the way over to that assembler 
along with these iron bolts that the iron these bolts that the iron rods are turned into in order to make rotors these rotors are carried out and I think it these rotors are carried out into storage because the game demands a lot of them and I you just feed them directly into the not not the rotors but when you turn them into a like smart plating and stuff you can feed them directly into the space elevator instead of having to open storage and carry them to your, there yourself yeah i'm just gonna have a lot of rotors because not only are there some tiers i still need to finish up but i also am gonna go back and i'm gonna go back and follow that um i'm gonna follow these uh the power these power lines back to where i made that first uh infinite power source thing and I'm likely going to have to make another if I'm if I want to have enough power for more than one thing. Yeah. If I might make a suggestion. Hmm. You for some of these things that you have here, like the uh like the uh you know how there's gaps and some of them like that one produces four screws at a time and that one produces only however much metal plates at a time uh, uh, you might you might want to make more machines to produce them or and or um fuck what's the word uh overclock the machines that are producing them so that there's a more steady stream of them going into the machines <clears throat> I mean that's if I'm that I mean that's mostly if I'm not really wanting to wait. Yeah, I know. I'm just letting you know. You, it it works if you're pa if you have patience and aren't in a hurry, but it I'm just saying it'll go faster if you add like more production or overclock the production that's there. Are you sure overclocking doesn't have some kind of downside? As far as I know, the only downside of overclocking is that it consumes more power. Hmm. All right. <coughs> oh, I just okay. So I just need uh. All right. See, I that, that's you like also, the. You also need uh batteries that you produce from those slugs to overclock, but you know. Yeah. Is that why there's like that locked thing? Uh, is that like is that why there's that thing with that locked keyhole? Uh, in any of the devices. Yeah. I just, see, the thing is, I just don't know exactly, like, how much more, pa like, I, I feel like this it's is not, only... It doesn't only matter. If you're patient and you want, and you can wait for those things to go through, it's fine. I just, like, in, in my personal experience, it takes a while, especially since my uh, factory in specific is really horribly inefficient, so a lot of times I'm just sitting around doing nothing while I wait for my factory to very slowly produce stuff. See, this thing but already like... uses enough power, so if I were to try to overclock even one of them, I think the whole grid would shut down. That's what I, I'm not telling you to do it right now. And again, if you're if you're fine with waiting, you don't have to. It was just a suggestion to get things done faster. So here's my question, right? <clears throat> if I were to connect, so let's say I made a second infinitely generating uh, source of electricity from like another coal, uh, like another uh, a coal generator. If I were to connect it to one of the already existing power poles that has room for another wire. Will that add more power for me to feed more machines, or do I have to, like, or are these just going to have the power they already have now? As long as the power grid is connected somewhere, it'll share all its power with everything it's connected to, which means if you, like, let's say you go fucking, I don't know, 500 meters in that direction and find a coal source, you could bring the power from that over here by just running a bunch of power lines over here and connecting it to the existing power grid, yes. So, theoretically, I could have 240 <clears throat> megawatts going through and share and shared in the same grid. Yeah. Um, I have, I have, like, I think it's a hundred, I think I have, like, 300 megawatts from my coal power grids because they produce, like, what, 75 each? And yeah. 
Hmm. Each, um, I don't know if it's Miner Mark 1 or Miner Mark 2, but one of them, you can run, like, four coal power generators off of it. <laughs> wow. With just, with just a single, like, miner. That's insane. <clears throat> I'm gonna assume it's Mark 1 because I remember on my single player I actually have eight coal generators running. Damn. I mean, there's not a lot of places where coal and water are very close together, so I kind of have to work with what I got. Like I said, if you can't find coal and water close together, you can just prioritize the water because as long as you have conveyor belts, it will carry that coal to the uh, to the place as just it might take a bit longer depending on like what mark of conveyor belt you're using and stuff yeah but it's infinitely harder to transport water than it is to transport coal yeah that's why i carried all these power lines over <laughs> here so that i wouldn't have to worry about like physically moving everything There you are. So in that case, I okay. I'm not. I'm not even going to need these iron. These these iron ingots then, if the if the miners are going to constantly have them carried for me. So I don't know if you've managed to. Hang on. I don't know if you've managed to piece this together. Um. What? But, um, sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. So when you put up a miner to, uh, to a source, like iron or, um, or, like, coal or something, you know? You know how in the build menu it says it mines, like, 60 units at a time or whatever? Yeah. Um, that's just the base thing, so it actually mines 60 times whatever the purity of the node is. So, like, if it's a pure node, it mines, I think, 60 times 3, if I'm not mistaken, because pure nodes give 3 iron at a time. Hmm. See, I, I always destroy the pure node because it was never it was never mentioned to me that I can place a miner on top of a rock sticking out of the ground. You don't have to... You don't, if you're talking about the big thing that's on top of the, like, iron that you destroy, uh, the node is actually the thing in the ground that you... that is left over when you destroy the giant spike on top of it. Yeah. Um... And it's, it's pure. If it's, it, the ones you started with should be pure. So how it works is impure nodes give you one resource per time you mine it or whatever. Normal give you two, I believe, and pure give you three. So, like, if you, if you put a miner mark one on a pure node, you would get 60 times three. If you put it on normal, it would be 60 times two, yada yada. Hmm. <coughs> But that being said, it will only carry as much resources as your conveyor belt is able to carry. So, even if it's producing 120 because it's 60 times 2, if you're using a Mark 1 conveyor belt, it'll only carry 60 uh, resources at, a, like, you know, per minute or whatever. Yeah. Brain <clears throat> goes, what in the hell would you need this for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is what you need a Nobilis Dentonator for, to blow up this! <laughs> Everything has a use! Fuck, I don't have... Ah! No! Well, okay. Do the unknown count... Do the different unknown forms count towards the Pokedex? What in Brilliant Diamond? No, in... No, in, um... Legends. I'm talking to Dave. Oh. Alright. Uh, limestone. 
Where's some limestone? Mm, yeah. Not too far away, thank god. Oh, that's right. It's a limestone. That's... You should look for sulfur, if if, if that's the case, because being able to blow up those nobelisks sounds pretty snazzy. I mean, I do have sulfur. I either accidentally, I either got rid of it because I'm a dumbass, or I misplaced yeah, it. No, I mean, I mean, you need, you should look for like a sulfur node that you can like put a miner on top of or something. Oh yeah, I did find one near my uh, near my base when I was trying to find another coal node that was nearby. But it turns out that the water oh. it was like really really high up away from the water, and the map that I looked at didn't tell me that. It just told me it was, it was because it was like fl a flat map, so it didn't tell me much. Yeah. I think, uh, it starts with only pure nodes showing on that interactive map if you're using the one I think you are. Yeah, you can configure it, though. Yeah, I know. What does? Yeah. I... I thought they only showed up at night, but evidently that's not the case. Not dealing with you today. Fuck off. Jump, cause we jump. Hey. That's right. Get ri get rigor mortis and die. Limestone. Thank God. I needed this because I need to make miners. You know what they say. More power to you. More power to me, indeed. <laughs> make, sure you, make sure you keep some coal nodes preserve because you're gonna need steel later yeah I yeah i know if i'm not if i'm not mistaken i think you need coal to make steel yeah there's like <clears throat> how many are there what press minus and then press y there's like four of them around here so don't worry don't worry yeah I so thought that the game would be broken enough that I could just place down a miner on top of the boulder, but apparently not. Yeah. Imagine if that actually worked, I just placed a miner on top of the boulder like, ha, fuck you, game. <laughs> just absolute sequence breaking. Amazing. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a glitch earlier in the early access of the game. Oh, that would be absolutely amazing. I need to I need to hook this up like a like a date. Early ac early access games tend to be very broken, especially when they first come out, like in early access. Yeah. <clears throat> what did you release? Is there a way to select multiple uh Pokemon at once, like, without using the multi-select thing where you select a square, Dave? Uh, I know you can't release multiple at once, which is kind of dumb. You can in Legends, I believe, but... I I'm tried to! to figure out how... You have to, uh, oh, multi-select them, I think. Shit, 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 they shit. literally said... That someone literally said to me at one point that you can multi-release in... Legends, and I kind of believe they could have been lying, but I kind of believed it because when you select a Pokemon and hit release, a little check mark appears next to their icon in the box. So I assumed that to mean like, see that? I assumed that to mean you. I don't think I actually need. I don't think I actually need two different coal nodes. Because yeah, you don't. You need. Well, I mean. I, I can split the wanna. conveyor. I can split one coal conveyor into two different things. Yeah, you. So if you, if I'm not mistaken, you can run up to four coal generators off of one coal node if you have a Mark One miner, I believe. Ooh, me likey. But I don't actually know, so don't quote me on that. I'm gonna give that a good old test. I want to see just how far I can push this. I know that, I know that I have like eight coal power things running on my single player, but I believe I have a Mark II miner and two water extractors, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Cause power is everything. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
You got you got to play them smarts. Yeah. At last, I have finally done it. Three cold generators. <laughs> oh, Three I am lives. a madman. Mad dude. It was his hat, Mr. Krabs. He was number one. Boink. Fire that bitch up and let's get that coal flowing. <laughs> oh yes, here here it comes. Such a coal cool flow. <clears throat> That's what the problem is. It's a power pole mark one. That's why it doesn't have that much power to carry. I need that upgrade. I need <clears throat> that fucking upgrade. Zippy, pull out thine Google and searcheth for Power Pole Mark II. I must know with how close I am to thine goal. I swear to God, if it's like tier six or something, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. Uh, satisfactory Power Pole Mark II. Okay, so I don't think I've actually upgraded my Power Poles on Satisfactory, and uh. So even if it turns out that the power poles are some are some time away, I've already made two more coal and water extractor generators. So I'm one step ahead, even if I have to get work hard for it. So what 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 tier does it say that it's at? Uh, okay. Two things. One, all it, from what I'm seeing on the wiki, all it says it does is allow you to connect more things to it at once. It doesn't actually carry more power from what I'm seeing. Oh. Um, and two, you don't unlock it from a milestone. You unlock it from one of the research trees on the map. Oh. Does it say anything about... Uh, so, okay. So just to be sure, I have, like, several different coal and water extractor generator cycles here. So how would I add more power to my grid in total? Uh, well, Is it as simple as connecting the poles? You connect the poles to each other and make it so that all of the uh, all of the poles in your power grid that power your machines and stuff are all connected to each other. So basically, I can add more of these generators and add more power and just have them all connected. Yeah, but r keep in mind you can only run a certain number of generators of coal off of a certain number, a certain kind of miner and stuff. It's yeah, I know, I know. So, much. so I guess the trick is to get each of the other generators jump started into an endless cycle of powering themselves in order for it to actually work. Yeah. So I think an important step is to make sure that oh. for now. The pole connecting all the other machines back in my base are severed to give the give all these things enough power to power themselves first. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That way, nothing is like diver diverting the power. Oh, second one's going. Second one's going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then I must add a connection. <laughs> it's going. It's all going. Yeah. Yeah.
I've officially done it. You've officially done it. Production, 225 megawatts. Mm. I guess that means how much I can actually make now. Sweet! i finally done it, Zippy. I'm so fucking proud of myself. Yeah. Yeah! Power is on, baby. Oh! <coughs>